Hello, ladies, gents, and giant piles of spiny filth. We return to RimWorld to deal with this mess. Let's see. Banana, you're milking a boomalope. How about you capture one of these 16-hour... I was clicking through these filth creatures. 19 hours. Capture Gorhulk. Ooh, he may escape soon, huh? I uh, put a few ropes, like so. Maybe I'll tell Blargo. No, Blargo is our doctor, but Ragman is very good at construction. How about you prioritize building that uh, containment platform right there? There, Ragman, get it done. Get on it. Blargo's a doctor. He's going to be plenty busy with all this nonsense. Mm, Tiros is uh, taking care of their mother-in-law. I think capturing just two is plenty. I doubt you even need two, just one will be fine, you know, but for the sake of being safe, being thorough, we got a 16 hour here. So how about we have bananas carrying the gore hulk? How about Effin Damas? Effin Damas, after you're done eating, you capture this gore hulk. And um, actually he's another doctor, isn't he? He's one of our other few doctors so we should just let him work and eh, whatever just do work do your thing it'll work out just fine and that's fine you let everything else die and what i did i mean between episodes to see if we can both feed the trees and chop them up so we can have some more kibble i reduced the size of this so this will get filled up somewhat quickly especially with the elephants carrying corpses this way. And we'll be able to butcher at least half of these. Maybe just leave these forbidden, because there's so many of these corpses. There's 68 of them. 55 if you only count the ones that are already dead. So it's like, uh, do you really need to butcher 55 of these monstrosities? Probably not. Either way, let's get things moving everybody was hungry just eating out in the field in the midst of, of this filth and carnage gotta love it if Damas is going to capture that piece of trash actually i would rather uh not like katrina crack like back but can get it done capture this one so if Damas training cyber trunk huh how about we bump up your doctoring actually you have a two in doctoring uh, how come you're not doctoring instead of Training an elephant. There's so much to heal here. T-Rose is taking care of mother-in-law. It, it just pleases me. It's still, she may not make it because it is such a pile of wounds. Those spines are just awful. Ragman, though, is going to get that containment unit quickly up. And then let's prioritize this one. You see? Yeah, he's in plenty of good spirits. So we can get that done. Uh, we'll move this Gore Hawk. I see, keep saying Hawk. It's Hulk. Gore Hulk. To the metal holding platform. Probably this is all it needs, right? All right, banana. Just put it in there. And we'll move it instantly. Immediately. Right away. Okay. Uh, transfer to this. Wow, wow. It does not meet the minimum requirement. So you did do need the inhibitor or the... Sharding him or something. Let's make sure. Skill too low. Oh, oh, we don't have Ragman. Ragman is uh, off building the other containment unit. Uh, we can have him prioritize that one. And then construct. Is, are the materials already there? Yeah. So you can construct that one. I might as well build the lamp and then go down and build that holding platform. All right, Banana just eating a meal in front of the monster just to taunt it. Don't know if I will do that, Banana. is going to try and reach over for your entrails. Shoot a spine at you. Oh, but I don't think we have electricity here. Oh, we do. Okay, it's all good. All right, let me quickly and efficiently look at the health of the animals because that's the ones that are not doing great. La Katrina was the only one that was pretty, uh, pretty hurt. 
18 hours though. They'll be fine. Yeah, they, they'll get treated eventually in flat in flarked. Vargas should be prioritizing that. What is Epic Damas? He went to sleep. It's like, ah, oh, people are just bleeding to death in the damn hospital. But let me just catch a nap real quick. I'm just feeling like a tired little baby. You piece of garbage, get to work. <laughs> there is a lot of a lot of fixing to be done on the flesh of your fellow inmates. <clears throat> I mean colonists. And to the treatment needed. Oh yeah, yeah. That's definitely not going to happen at some point soon. This needs to get built though. He'll be fine. Crack like that, we will be fine. Man, this takes quite a lot of work, huh? He's in a great mood. Okay, are you now in the minimal? Holding containment strength 64. Needs 60. Alright, so that will do it. How about you? Requires 60. It is at 58. Almost there. I don't think we need the shard inhibitor in here. For now, we can move it down to this one. Ragman, what are you doing? How about you? No, you you used it. Oh, there was a pile of steel here, and then they moved it back because those robots are extremely efficient. Okay, we're going to reinstall this one. For the time being, we're going to put it right here. I don't think there's power. Is power around? I think it might be able to plug over there. So it's fine. But there we have. Uh, we can deconstruct these ugly ass pieces of garbage. Alright, so this one is held properly. This one, not so much. Definitely something that needs to be prioritized. The steel piles are very, very far from our containment unit, but, you know, it's not a place that we're, is going to require a whole lot of building. Hike, you have a bit of a bleeder there in your your fingernail or something. A lung. Your lung is bleeding slightly. How about you go and rest until healed? Like Katrina being uh, properly treated. It would be nice to clean all this vomit though. That will be, that'll be helpful. Okay, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Everybody's going to be fine. Hike does have a little bit of a bleeder. How about everybody else? I don't want anybody walking around bleeding all over the place. Is Tiro's done? Is she okay? She's a little bit of a hungry fella. <laughs> she needs to patch up a couple more wounds though, but she can take she can take a pause to have this meal so her mood doesn't go into the garbage. All right, just get that done and uh, keep tending mother-in-law. There you are. And this crisis seems to be mostly averted. Some of these elephants are still bleeding, but they'll be fine. The, the, you know, they're in no immediate danger. Uh, so now my main concern is making sure that these gore hawks, gore hulks, do not get wasted. Unfortunately, our elephants that are would normally do the hauling, they are currently occupied, bleeding all over the place. So uh, we have to make do with robots. Nothing has been holding. I mean, we don't really need to butcher him. Blargo, what are you doing? Oh, you're standing to the disgusting creature. This has been properly built, and this has been transferred. So now, let's transfer the Gorehawk right there. Quickly, disengage that. Continue string 89, huh? I seem to have missed something. It's like it was only 60. I think... I think he wasn't counting the devices just yet. That's all right. All right, we got two containments. Very nice. Uh, probably you can share spaces. It's not that big a deal to have two prisons in one spot. I wonder if you can just move this and, and maybe have this, you know, affect two of them. I don't know. Oh, yeah, max connected per building, six. So you can have a whole bunch. And in fact, it seems to encourage that. So uh, we can definitely build more of these and reposition this thing. So that way uh, we have more containment going on. Mm, hard to think of how to do it, though. 
It's like, how the, how does it really work? You aim it at a thing, but it's like it needs to six max connected per building. Or maybe it just means you can connect, you can stack six of these onto one containment unit. I think that's what it means. It's not you can connect six holding platforms to the electric inhibitor. It's the other way around. You can connect six of these to one holding platform. I think that's what it means. Um, so yeah, just let it, let, it, let it be like that. And this is the one that will basically has an area of effect. So probably you want to reinstall it in a place like this and it will affect three of them. Max connected per building one. Yeah, that's, that's what it means. That it's going to affect up to, you can stack only one. This thing wants to escape. What a piece of garbage. He will not escape. There is no escape from this containment unit. It is so freaking pissed. Okay, we are healing it though. So good. Like Katrina, are you healed? Okay, you're just... You do love to study these disgusting creatures though. Oh, there was a new research I was notified in the middle of the damn thing. The discovery of the Gore Hulk has yielded new insights. You can now research the following anomaly projects. Bliss Lobotomy. <laughs> Gee... Wonder what that does. <laughs> Bliss lobotomy. Can you guys see it? The words. There it is. Perform a surgery that lobotomizes a person, making them happier while rendering them incapable of intellectual and skilled labor. <laughs> oh, how useful. I mean, if you just want a soldier, a dumb labor type of person, somebody that's already incapable, like they're doing absolutely nothing related to that. Certainly, a blissful lobotomy would be quite the option. It would be hilarious to lobotomize one of you pathetic fools. Maybe Jesse Fassman. No, that would be silly. But let's see. Let's actually, we can look at people right now. Like, certainly not, not Ragman. But Banana doesn't do anything intellectual. He just takes care of animals. He could literally be lobotomized and be exactly the same person <laughs> as, I, as I have it right now. Like, he's just a savant. He just becomes a really happy savant. That would be absolutely hilarious. We're probably going to lobotomize the animal, <laughs> the, the furries, <laughs> as they should be in real life. Uh, certainly not you, Breaksoul. You are a craftsman. F and Damis can also stand to be lot of oh, but not with the he is also a good doctor, so you don't want to lobotomize him. Uh, hike, probably not. He is an artist and a and a builder. Grave digger could stand to be lobotomized as well. So there is quite a few candidates for their frontal lobe to be extirpated. I look forward to our our happy science that we're going to perform <laughs> our own our own colonist is going to be quite hilarious. So what's going on with the tatter apparel? Is it just... It's just a jacket that is wearing down and I just don't have any other jackets, huh? Let's go to the tailor bench and make sure that there's also jackets available. We want dusters. We don't care about jackets. We're going to make it so that we have... Uh, always make it so we have two dusters. Don't care about wool. Just clear everything. They want them to be either human leather, blue fur. Eh. There's really there is cold here. Yeah, yeah, we can use blue fur. It's okay. Like they're they're not very resilient, but they're good dusters. Everything else kind of ass though. So and we want a good skilled individual to make this happen. And that should have uh, worked pretty nicely. All right, we have a large sandstone sculpture. We don't need to put it in the freaking... The laboratory here is going to be the happiest place in the world. Let's not do that. We probably should have one here in the in the workshop. People spend a lot of time here. Where else? Get quest available. The old complex, all right? We'll 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 check it out. We'll check it out. Don't worry about it. Um, I don't think there's anywhere else that we truly need it. There is no sculpture here. It really should have one just on principle, you know? And this one, I mean, we'll, we'll put it here because 
the temple deserves our respect. It is not necessary. It's kind of silly to do it. I'm going to do it just for the aesthetics. But if I were to be min-maxing things, certainly just pile them up over here. Put them in the workshop where everybody will be so much happier looking at it. That kind of thing, but whatever. Is Jesse Fassman back, by the way? Yeah, she is. Beautiful. No longer rambling around like an idiot. Ah, the human meat is once more depleting. It is a constant struggle to have enough human flesh to eat. Seems kind of important to feed these trees simply because it is a source of bioferrite. We're going to be doing that. We're going to be uh, chopping down some of these. Another thing that I need to do is maybe not hold these open anymore and be sure to rebuild the sandstone wool. And in fact, uh, a party has been scheduled. Oh, amazing. Let me just double, double layer this nonsense. Um, see, check out that, the old complex. You've learned of an ancient com place near, eh, it's a info, a T-Rose's horn. Absolutely accepted. I think this is an excellent chance to schedule yet another. I've not generated the world yet. Yet another expedition to somewhere. Where's the complex? Here? That is very appropriate. Very appropriate. 18 people in this logging worksite. 16 in the gold mining. I think blue means that they have guns. Red, I think these guys are cannibals. Either that or pirates. Let's look at the factions. There's no red. I think they're, they're either Yitakin pirates or uh, Apollo cannibals. I think that's the, the color that the game gives cannibal factions. There's also 14 people, and these are for sure wasters. But, you know, the complex is over there. We should definitely deviate to either one of them. I think, and especially when they say covenant, it means tribals. It's it's so hard to, it's so hard to determine. Certainly, I don't want to mess with a, a mining site full of sixteen people with the guns. That is dangerous as hell. We can definitely f fight eighteen cannibals, you know. Even though their their pile of wood is nothing that interests me. Uh, I think as soon as everybody is nicely healed which is happening very, very soon. And all these gore hawks are properly dealt with. La Catrina, could I maybe lobotomize you? <laughs> no, no, you are very much an intellectual and also a, a doctor. Oh, finally we get our scyther out of there. Hey, Blago, how about... Oh, yeah, you're getting your... Neural supercharger right there. Um, what kind of work have you assigned? Do you, we're just having you investigate all this nonsense, right? I see, I see. But also being a doctor, all right. All right. You're just always sad. <laughs> it's pathetic. Oh, man, and your nose got shattered at some point. A Gore Hulk very, very recently. Hey, we finally have a nice Scyther. Let's assign it to... Group two, group two will just recharge for the time being. Do I even have enough chargers for this comeback? I really don't. Let's get uh, one of these. We're gonna put it right there. Extremely ugly, I don't care. Mm. Yeah, we have plenty of space for this toxic waste pack. It's no big deal. Unfortunately, we are out of bandwidth. There are many ways to improve bandwidth. I'm not going to do it just yet. Are you properly contained? Yes, you are. All right. Wonder if th this should work through walls. I hope so. Very much hoping as much. Hmm. This is probably contained. All right. It's all good. 
Awesome. These elephants are slowly healing. Poor mother-in-law did not have a great time. La Katrina, I would like to ha be able to do something about you. Uh, I really don't want you to have the low shield pack, though. Drop that right now. You are, I, you are untrustworthy with that. I want T-Rose to have that. Force equip. Is she sleeping? Okay, she'll equip it eventually. Uh, where are you even going? Studying Void Monolith. She's so very, very much into the entire studying of the occult. Maybe that's why she's so miserable at the time. Research finish Void Provocation. Be build a psychic ritual spot and perform a psychic rituals. Use the Void Provocation ritual to discover new entities. So basically you're attracting <laughs> evil creatures. I don't know if that's something I want. Psychophagy. Perform a psychic ritual which deadens a target's psychic sensitivity and temporarily boosts the ritual invoker's psychic, psychic, psychic sensitivity. The target would suffer brain damage as a side effect. How is this useful for anything? <laughs> it's so weird. Skip abduction. There's so many things. Perform a psychic ritual that abducts a random hostile person from anywhere in the world. Put them in the short temp coma for capture. Seems like a great ritual to get a quick meal, but probably not very, not very efficient. Perform a fast second ritual, which will draw a herd of animals. I mean, this is nice if you are running low on food, right? And you want to get a bunch of uh, just animal meat into your face. We would really want some bioferrite extraction. Let's get that done because I have nothing Proximity detector. All right, it's all good. Uh, the bioferrite situation. We really need to extract some more somehow. Eventually, these gore hulks are going to be transported. Is this full yet? It's almost there. Filth, gross, nasty. I don't think I really want to butcher them, honestly. Okay, that's fine. Elephants are mostly healed. We'll just leave mother-in-law behind. Tiros, why are you... Are you really a builder? You're only eight. But that's fine. That, that's not something that needs high quality or anything, so it's fine. Mm. I'm feeling pretty decent. Oh, look, this is already built. Oh. Okay, it's just inspired taming. It's pan the home area, so this gets cleaned. Uh... I hate that it's all... I mean, this is the time. If there's a time to create some actual walls, it's now. You want 10? Will this destroy anything? I don't think so. And then dig those as well. So that way we can get some actual walls built before we put on lights. Haul all this garbage out of there. And we'll start putting the H reversal. The H reversal mm, machinery right here. A royal with enemies. Oh man, I keep forgetting that we want to lure uh, again the Empire people. For now, we're going to do another raid. Going back out there. And it's going to be a fat one. Especially, it was like, it's right after an event. Okay, so it's this, yeah, it is properly contained. And it seems like having walls around it is very important as well. It, it counts a lot toward the strength because before it was 80, now it's 102. So having a nice enclosure matters quite a bit on the strength of an enclosure. wonder why this one is so much lower. Maybe because of the, you, like, if you don't put walls straight around it, it makes it into a lower strength enclosure, or maybe simply this gives a 20 and this gives only a 10. Maybe that's the, the entire reason. Either way, this is looking pretty good. Unfortunately, if I take all the elephants away, all the hauling is not going to be happening. You know, so I might wait a little bit longer. 
But now is the right time to go on a on a raid because we it's right after an event and Cassandra will give me a little bit of time. So let's get it done. Form a caravan. First we go to the complex and then we'll go that way. Yeah, that's that's the way we want it. And let's select a, a hardy group of people. All right, here we have our collection of intrepid raiders. Colt Shaw, Meg, Banana, Effin Damas, Tiros, and Blargo, with our Scythers going to go out there and just shred some idiots. We got a little bit of money in case we find some trading to be done. And we're grabbing all the pemmican. Off you guys go. Confirm. Hopefully we'll be okay. I'm a little iffy because, you know, it's always a gamble to leave a colony. Ooh, nice. More tame boomalopes. We really needed that. Let's let's stop the taming. Okay, it's already all good. We really need some extra boomalopes just for the sake of of getting um, more cam fuel. Maybe I may have overdone it because now the area really does not have a whole lot of nutrition. It's basically consuming a, twice as much. Ooh, a bunch of travelers. Maybe they want to trade something that doesn't even look like it. Uh, consuming twice as much, so maybe we want to expand this fenced area. There's nothing really to stop us, right? Why, why not do it? Let's not make it out of plasteel anymore. We'll make it out of granite. Let's expand this fenced area to include everything right here. We have seen many, many times they have changed it so hard the way that let's not fence in the the monolith though the way that it used to be was super annoying your animals would be targeted first thing and it would just be obnoxious as hell to defend the animals all the time i guess tainan realizes realize this like okay let's make the animals where you keep them in a fence but in exchange you had you had to do a little bit of extra work to keep animals in exchange though enemies all enemies will ignore your animals they don't give a crap about your farm so you can have a giant fenced area to your heart's content you don't need to defend it you need to do anything just have them out there grazing as long as you have them you're ranching them it's going to be perfectly viable so i really i'll definitely take this trade for sure because it used to be a huge pain in the ass to make sure your animals didn't get slaughtered with every raid. So I do appreciate the change. Even though before I didn't appreciate it too much. It was like, oh man, all this fencing that you have to do is so uh, such an annoying chore. But now that I have played quite a lot with it, I really do appreciate the entire changes that we have done. Anyway, let's uh, speed things up a little bit. Our raid is out and ready to go. This ancient complex should be pretty trivial with the pile of death machines that we're sending out the real uh, challenge will be this login site full of idiots ready to be consumed by my never-ending hunger looking forward to it all right so we actually got got it so full of corpses over here to consume that uh we are storing some of these filth by the way, let's get this to make sure that uh, Gore Hulk corpses are also butcherable. Nice. Got a, a few too many things going on over here. There was a party. I didn't even look at it. Uh, there's also the quest. What you got? What you want? A royal with enemies. Leontios Cosberos. I kind of call out the refugee empire. So we need to blah, 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 blah. Hide. In the mountain of mind, madness, 65 scythers. How about I put you straight in the trash? <laughs> Never think about you ever again. Two raids of 65 scythers. Yeah, uh, sign me up real good. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. What a foolish thing to ask for. Man, this complex is big. She. All right, everybody. Get on it. Actually, don't. I mean, we have to rename this. It's not Scyther 1. It's not Scyther 1. It's Choppy. Choppy is going to be our great companion 
Do I even... I don't think I want to have the elephants... Animals. Let's not have them come with me. Uh, I don't want them to get hurt. It is much, much easier, much better. Do you just have the pile of people? Uh, Ruffle Stump? Oh, he's just consuming grass. Okay. Much better to just have the pile of people going to the, the complex. I really don't ever respect entrances or doors. I'm just gonna going to break straight into your place, make an entrance for myself. If you're assaulting a complex, ignore the doors at all times. What you want to do is make yourself entrances and always consider the room that you're in outdoors because they have a tendency to catch fire all the time. It is silly the amount of times that it catches fire. So it's um, you always want to make sure that you can escape immediately into the outdoors and not get your lungs roasted. So let's, uh, let's go in there. Choppy, start opening doors. What you got? Absolutely nothing to be concerned about. Open this one. Open the Hermetic Crate, uh, crate effing Damas. We can even split up. I am really not terribly concerned about this area. Uh, shit, did I bring even an intellectual? We got nine on Blargo. Meg is not an intellectual type. I guess Blargo is the hacker, I suppose. Unfortunate. Seen a lot of corpses here. This is a terrible place for an unstable new uh, uh, fuel cell. Let me just destroy the the wall right away. Meg, pick up the hyperweave. Continue opening doors. Blargo is uh, with the hacking. Nothing to be seen here. Pretty important to destroy the wall that the cell is at because then when the it catches fire ancient enemy terminal huh open this crate what the hell was that there was some kind of some kind of noise going on i don't know cold shaw should be inside oh jeez <laughs> oh baby <laughs> you pick out this luciferum all right, so these are dangerous. You know, it's, it's a dangerous situation. Should be okay, though. Tiros, destroy this crate. Hopefully, it will not alert the insects. This has been opened, so now this is all considered outdoors. When this explodes, we will not fry, bake, or get roasted. Actually, we'll just attack from this angle, right? That's what makes sense. Instead of destroying this box, eh, it's going to get destroyed very, very soon. Banana, great, great job. Great job, Banana. You are such a genius. Well, you do have zero intellectual, so it does not surprise me in the slightest. Okay. t get there. Choppy get there. Meg, no. Through here, please. Epidamus, Banana. Cold Shaw goes over there. What just happened? There was something. Oh, there's mechs over there. If the mechs assault me, let's leave these uh, insects alone. Let's deal with the mechs. Oh! <laughs> this is freaking scyther right there. All right, we're going to probably just stand here. Just stand here is fine. And Choppy will intercept. Meg will also intercept. He should actually be shot down before he arrives. All right, good, good, good. Uh, Meg, take the shots to the head. Never mind. <laughs> Never even got close. You continue hacking there, Blargo. Uh, we don't trust that it's over. Gonna wait this out a little bit. Is it over? Choppy. Inspect. Another one of these, huh? Man, this complex is so different. So different. It's huge, too. Why is... 
<sighs> Let's see. Home area one. I want you fools. Animals in area one. Do not enter the complex. Do not catch fire. Do not get cut down by freaking scythers or insects. Okay, let me set everybody up. This is going to be quite the fight. Meg. I mean, uh, we'll just leave that there. When we reform the caravan, we'll be picking that up automatically. All right, Choppy. Time to open the door. And leave the door open. I can't leave the door open? No, because it doesn't belo belong to me. I see. Do I want to set them on fire? That probably will backfire enormously if I s throw a... <laughs> I am so tempted, though. Okay, how about we do this? Attack that. Enormously tempted I'm going to do it just because I am kind of dumb. Holy crap, they woke up. Set them on fire! Hopefully Blargo doesn't get targeted. More insects have woken up, huh? How dare you? How dare you target Blargo? Actually, attack Blargo? Great shot, great shot, well done. How does one die back there? I'll have no idea. Okay, so it's 172 degrees indoors. But thankfully, only 25 over there. That is why we do what we do. Because, uh, you know, I have, I have much, much experience. <laughs> I have much experience. Well, uh, this is a, a problem. These freaking monsters. Let's set everybody up down here. We'll open up the door and we'll do some more damage. Hopefully they're not targeting my my beautiful elephants. I will be I will be pissed if they are targeting my elephant, but they're probably trying to go through there. Okay, they're just fleeing. They're just uh, cowardly pieces of trash, and they're just fleeing. But we don't trust them, though. That is like a, an unknown threat. Let it, letting them just leave? Uh, where did this thing come from? Please? <laughs> Not move! Don't get cut down! Man. Freaking dangerous, brother. Okay, they have turned around. Attack, attack, attack! Get wrecked. Be sure to kill the monster. Are they turning around yet? Let's inspect. Why do they go all the way over here? It's so strange. Like, do they gather or something? It's so strange. Where's me out? Their behavior. What are the elephants doing? <laughs> what the hell? Getting here, you idiots. That is so obnoxious. Why are they behaving this way? Freaks me out. Freaks me out. All right. Uh, just line up over here. Destroy the threats. Where are you coming from? Probably there was a, a pile of insects. Choppy intercept. Well done, well done. You're a great dude. You're a great dude. Effendamus, uh, Tentacle Shaw. And then we can continue exploring this damn place. Cold Shaw is having a bad time. You're just hungry. You're a hungry fella. You're hungry and tired. <sighs> what is happening? <laughs> Literally. Assign the animals. Don't catch fire. <laughs> it's like, uh, it says that they're just fleeing, but it's like, why are they fleeing 
instead of just staying where I assigned them to be. Holy crap. Anyway, open this up. <laughs> Margo doesn't miss an opportunity. Who shouldn't what? Bruh. These monsters are pissing me off. He's been treated though. There's a 0% chance, right? This thing is going to get here. Alright, we can reform, so that means everything's safe. Ah. Let's continue attacking walls instead of... Instead of um, giving a crap about doors. Okay, choppy going there. Everything's catching fire. Infestation! <laughs> we love it. Man, this ancient complex, thank goodness I brought a bajillion people. They're never this difficult. I'm wondering... Here's the infestation. Um, oh, actually it seems to be like... It's hard to say where it's happening. Th and this uh, room is really, really hot. We should have time to move everybody over there. Let's come this way. Cold show, how about you have a meal? Yeah, you go out there and have a nice uh, pemmican meal, whatever. Wish I could leave. How about I can claim it and hold it open? Hey, nice. I don't know why I couldn't do that before. Probably because it depends on whether the place is safe or not. Unfortunately, let's see if we have enough time to attack this wall so we have more room to shoot nice we have now one extra slot and in fact I want to attack that one as well have a nice angle hopefully Coldshaw will not be targeted by this infestation Coldshaw is having a meal it's alright man he's getting real grumpy down there all right, T Rose, get right there. Epidamas, right there. Go there. Oh, the infestation graphics are different now. They updated those. Okay, now you won't be hungry anymore. Slightly, slightly better. Okay. This is new. <laughs> A twisted obelisk. A large metallic pillar that emanates a putrid psychic energy. The pillar hums ominously and appears to be increasing in activity. It's not clear what will happen when it reaches its full capacity. You can send colonists to suppress the obelisk to prevent it from activating. You can also mark the obelisk for study to try to learn its purpose and perhaps make use of it. You can attack the obelisk to destroy it by doing so may unleash a natural and dangerous dangerous phenomena this seems to be just an event sure we will study it probably it gives everybody a debuff just by existing keeper of the flesh blah 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 okay nothing so far uh, I'm feeling slightly naked over in my colony with uh not having holy crap man everybody's just awful right now do you have some food on you you have kibble shit brother <laughs> this is, uh, usually these are way more trivial you know holy crap choppy is getting attacked Oof. I hate this I hate this in every way that's right they can open doors <laughs> That's the thing that they can do. Open freaking doors. Let's get Evan Damas. No, not Choppy. Attack. Evan Damas needs to get back. Ah! Okay, it doesn't care. I don't care about that. Mega has leveled up. Alright, all these filth has been properly murdered. I think there was some that escaped on the other side, though. Cold Shaw, go over there. What a nightmare. I just want to find the damn terminals and leave! At least we got a nice mood buff. I 
I hate this complex. I hate it. <laughs> Ooh. There's another freaking insect. Is it going to just open the door? Sure is. Choppy intercept. Ooh. Uh, banana will eat one of those. Everybody will eat one of those, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Who else needs food? Everybody does. Holy crap. Let's just give the meal to the ones that are really, really hungry. And we'll continue exploring. This needs to happen quickly. Or mental breaks are going to be a problem. Ah! <laughs> Where did you come from? I hate this! <laughs> there you get up. Okay, Mega's attacking. It went down. It's okay. Oh, how obnoxious. All right, we got that. Continue opening doors. We just need to find the next terminal and then we'll leave immediately. I don't care about loot. About, I don't care about anything. Okay, I think damage. You, you hack that ancient terminal. And I suppose we'll keep exploring a little bit. What are you guys doing? Praying. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You guys go do whatever you want. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, this is just catching fire. It's fine. We have four terminals, huh? Holy crap, brother. All right, we got all the terminals now. Uh, everybody's health is ass. <laughs> this is terrible. Wow. Meg got cut up real hard. Just let them wander. We just need this progress bar to fill. And we're out of here. Heat stroke on Epidemus. It is a hundred degrees. <laughs> All right. Okay. So fine. It's fine. Melee attack that wall. Get out of there, Epidemus, for now. Attack this wall. This is the most obnoxious uh, complex I have ever gone through. Absolute most ob obnoxious. At least this guy's sleeping, but uh, we do need to destroy this other one, or the temperature is going to be absolutely atrocious. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, break it down. All right. F and Damas, get back to it. Ah, let me just undraft uh, these poor bastards. Meg, how about... Where are you doing? Just praying in the woods? Fine. Hopefully that will close your wounds. Please don't break down. There is six terminals here. What? <laughs> I hate everything. Oh, man. Come back so we can treat your wounds. Coming here. I didn't realize there was six terminals. And uh, there's a massive fire between me and the next terminal. <laughs> this is so awful. A thousand degrees. Okay, coming here, Blargo. Maybe... Like, basically, I think we just need to set up a bunch of sleeping bags. We need to set up a, a bunch of sleeping bags, take care of our moods, take care of our wounds, because, you know, it's just not right. It, I cannot, I cannot withstand this. The group is just going to devolve into uh, uh, mental breaks. Blargo is the only one that has an even remotely decent mood. So, gonna have to do it. 
Put the, down the bedrolls. We will install them outside because the indoors are slightly uh, incapacitated. Not terribly useful. Give me some time. Give me some time. I'm going to set up this nonsense because this is just ridiculous. Alright, T-Rose has set up all of these sleeping rolls. I'm hoping the bedrolls will not catch fire. My concern right now is though, if the fire spreads into these rooms that we still have to explore, will the ancient terminals get destroyed and completely nullify all the work that I've just done? Quite the concern. Quite the concern right there. Uh, let's see for this to get healed. Okay, you guys need to go take care of yourselves. Uh, Blargo will be fine. We need Blargo to go in there. Yeah, okay, he's going the, the right way. Good stuff. He really needs to go in there and make sure these terminals do not get destroyed. Ephendamus is <laughs> tending to himself. What a, what a guy. How about you go sleep? No, he's going to self-tend. He's going to do it. I told everybody to consume some insect jelly. Most of everyone is full of food. We are preventing this horrible disaster from happening. Okay, there's no terminal on fire, but you know, it is a thousand degrees in that room. So let's not go into it. Uh, hopefully it will be down here. Okay, there's nothing here, but it's probably really hot in there. 100 degrees. Uh, let's just claim and hold open. At the very least, it will communicate a little bit of... A little bit of coolness? Did not expect this nightmare to unfold this way. <laughs> really did not expect it. Oh, boy. I guess we'll just attack the wall to make sure that we can progress a little bit. Actually, just fire at fire the door. 192. Yeah, the door is way more. The door is way more vulnerable. Yeah, there you go. This rain is going to do absolutely nothing because the entire complex is roofed. I think that was only one to maybe go to sleep instead of tending to your silly bruises. You're such a pansy. Okay, how about the, the needs of everybody? I just want them to be slightly rested. That's all that they need to be. Sure, you guys can go for a walk. Uh, she really need to be tended? I guess. I guess. Okay, you destroy the wall, the, the door. We need to find the other terminals. There's another one there. Wow, the multi-analyzer has been finally researched. Let me have bio-sculpting. Alright, nothing here. How about you hack the terminal, Bargo? This seems to be pretty damn high priority. This one is almost there. Effing damage needs to go rest. Banana is training Sarah Trunk. Of course he is. <laughs> uh, Tiro's mood, mood is now much, much better. How about we have you come this way, come this way, and hack the ancient terminal. We're almost there. What a freaking awful nightmare. This took so long. What is the Connie like? What is going on here? Hopefully, oh, we also did that. Might as well make sure this is properly walled off. Hmm, is there anything else that we wanted to go over, do over here? Plenty of food. Gotta, you know, inspect that everything is being kept up properly. Seems to be all in tip-top shape. Make sure nothing is missing. The uh, fence is slowly being built. This twisted obelisk, let's just ignore it is, its existence. Hope that nothing horrible is going to happen to me. Wonder when I should be uh, chopping down these trees. Ready to harvest. It is consuming flesh. And there's a few more, more sprouts right there. So might as well just chop it down. See how much bioferrite that uh, pr uh, induces. I wonder how long this takes for it to 
spoil. Oh, 24 hours, 9 hours, 10 hours, alright, it's about to spoil pretty soon. Everybody's mood is pretty ass, but it's all going up, so it's no big deal. Okay, Tiros will hack that one. Enemy terminal, not interested. This one is already hacked. How freaking awful. Uh, there's these doors right there that we still need to get to. I need one of you fellas to get around to it. Because everybody else is... I guess freaking Choppy could do it. Oh, it's not close to, to Blargo. The thing is, Me Mechanoids are completely immune to fire. So she can just go in there. What are you doing, T-Rose? You had to go there and then go back, huh? Well done. Choppy can catch fire, no problem. So it's not, it doesn't matter. So he is the one that can inspect things. There's no terminal heal, right? I sure hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Go in there with a thousand degree room, no big deal. I have lost count of the number of terminals we have encountered. Let's hope that these, it's just these two. And we're done with this area. What a horrible nightmare. I hate it every second of it. Do not make Meg catch fire. I will be pissed. Ah, my... Oh, my bedroll. Has caught fire. <laughs> this is so stupid. Exhaustion. Yeah, Blargo has had better days in his life. But this needs to happen, Blargo. Apologize. Okay, that was hacked. You can be undrafted. Meg is not having the time of her life, but it's going up. Why are you going in there to extinguish that fire? Probably because it got set up as a, as a home area. It's alright. She's entertaining herself. It's fine. There's one more terminal. Where are they? Is it this? No, this is hacked. It's only five in... It got destroyed, didn't it? It got freaking destroyed. And now all that work that I did was for nothing. You know it was like in here. <laughs> I hate my life and I hate this complex of doom. Reform the caravan. Get me over there, but do not enter. Please. Actually, I just want to go to the road. And I want to just weep. I'm just gonna weep. On my way there. I am so mad. So freaking mad. There's nothing even to salvage. Oh, I'm so pissed. That was so obnoxious. At least we got some insect jelly out of it. Get out of there. Yes, quest failed. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that information. So nice of you to tell me. Goodbye. <laughs>